Hi, I'm Scott Camp Schaefer, and uh, it's been a while since I've done uh, Facebook Live, but I thought it'd be a good idea to jump back on today so uh, I could uh, talk to you about uh, something very important. And um, I think, especially considering our current uh, national and world circumstances, as far as uh, you know, the health crisis and the economic crisis, we're all besieged with emotions and needing to cope with emotions. And short of buying a extra roll of toilet paper or any roll of toilet paper at the grocery store, uh, which a lot of people use to deal with their anxiety and their fear, uh, one of the things that people need to learn is how to cope emotionally better because a lot of people are dealing with anxiety and all kinds of tremendously troubling emotions these days. And that makes it important to deal with the emotions on the basis of what they are. And if I'm feeling fear or anger or sadness or uh, something of that variety, I need to deal with it as such. And then I can make better decisions based on it. But so many people, especially people who suffer with mood disorders and addictions, tend to be very reactive mm -hmm. and tend to have trouble dealing with their emotions uh, and just tend to react uh, based on what they might be. So the idea is that if you have a form of coping with the emotion, rather than just reacting to it like a pinball bouncing off the bumpers on a pinball machine, you're gonna be better able to cope with it. And that's why uh, I uh, work with my clients and uh, using a form of therapy called image transformation therapy. And image transformation therapy is a breathing and visualization technique that uh, although it's something that uh, I use with my clients to help them deal with trauma and all kinds of emotional upsets, um, it can also be used for addictions. It's also something that you can use individually to cope with your emotions if you become familiar enough with it. And you don't need to be so reactive and you don't need to be uh, feel like a victim of circumstances because if you're dealing with your emotions, you can make much better decisions. Uh, like, you know, whether to buy that extra roll of toilet paper at the grocery store or not. If you really don't need it, the thing you need to do is to be able to take care of your emotions and then things around you settle out. But uh, some people need just to deal with addictions and they may be tempted to go back to a substance or to go back to a behavior that's destructive or a relationship that's self-destructive just out of a need for some sort of security that they can't otherwise find. When the thing that they really need to do is to be able to deal with the feeling of uh, abandonment or hurt or uh, woundedness and that can all be dealt with with the emotional coping that image transformation therapy brings. Uh, if you don't have the wherewithal to do that you can just take a couple of deep breaths and um, you know reach out to other people who can help and support you in getting through uh, the current situation or whatever the situation is. So um, if you uh, live in the Central Texas area or um, are in somewhere in Texas, uh, ideally in the Central Texas area, which is where I'm located right now, and you need help in figuring out how to cope emotionally, whether you're dealing with anxiety, trauma, addictions, uh, depression, um, anger, whatever, you can give me a call and I can talk to you about how I can help you with this. Because um, whether you have to shelter in place or whether you can be out in public with other people, the main thing is that you uh, get help with what it is that's uh, bothering you. And you don't do it by just isolating and not talking to anybody. So please reach out to somebody who uh, you care about, who cares about you, and if I can be of help uh, as a professional, uh, please do give me a call at the contact information up at the top of my Facebook page or at the top of my webpage, and we'll see if the, the, I can help you with your current circumstances. But in any case, to just behave reactively and to just uh, willy-nilly uh, and uh, run the risk of being in worse circumstances than you already are, is probably not the way to go. And emotional health, health and wellness, and overall uh, peace of mind is the way to go. 
So uh, whatever you do, I, I hope you take good care. I hope you stay safe and I wish you the best of uh, health overall and mental health and well-being uh, especially. So thank you very much. Bye.